quick tip. Before you start the video, check out the description box down below. What do protein powders do in parties? They get wasted. Hey guys, how are you? Whether you're hitting the gym, training for a marathon, or just trying to meet your daily protein goals, protein powder has become a staple in many of our diets. But have you ever wondered about the side effects that come with your favorite protein supplement? While protein powder can help you build muscle, recover faster, and even lose weight, it's not all gigs and no pains. Today, we're diving deep into the potential side effects of protein powder that you need to know about. Ready? Let's go then! Let's get into some of its benefits first. Number 1. Muscle Growth Protein is crucial for muscle growth, and many athletes and gym enthusiasts use protein shakes to enhance muscle gain after strength training. A 2018 analysis of 49 studies found that protein supplements significantly boost muscle size and strength in healthy adults who do resistance training. This effect was observed in both men and women, but the benefits may decrease with age due to higher protein needs in older adults. Additionally, consuming more than 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight did not provide extra benefits. Number 2. Recovery after exercise in addition to promoting muscle growth, protein helps repair damaged muscles and tissues. Athletes often use protein powder to speed up recovery from muscle soreness after exercise. Numerous studies indicate that taking protein supplements after exercise can aid recovery by reducing muscle damage, improving muscle performance, and enhancing muscle protein synthesis. Number 3 may lower blood pressure. Abnormally high blood pressure or hypertension is a major risk factor for heart disease. Numerous studies have linked dairy consumption to reduce blood pressure, attributing this effect to bioactive peptides in dairy known as antigenotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or ACE inhibitors. In whey proteins, these ACE inhibitors are called lactinins, which have shown beneficial effects on blood pressure in several animal studies. However, a limited number of human studies have investigated whey protein's impact on blood pressure and many experts find the evidence inconclusive. Number 4. May enhance the body's antioxidant defenses. Antioxidants are compounds that combat oxidation in the body, reducing oxidative stress and lowering the risk of chronic diseases. Gluithin, a vital antioxidant in humans, is unique because it's produced by the body rather than obtained from the diet. Gluithin production relies on amino acids like cytine, which can be limited to supply. Foods rich in cytine, such as whey protein, may enhance the body's natural antioxidant defenses. Research in both humans and animals suggests that whey proteins can reduce oxidative stress and elevate gluithin levels. But adding protein powder to a glass of milk or a smoothie might seem like an easy way to boost your health since protein is essential for building and maintaining muscle, bone strength, and various bodily functions. Many older adults who often have reduced appetites may not consume enough protein. However, be cautious. A scoop of chocolate or vanilla protein powder can carry health risks. It is not recommended to use protein powders except in a few instances and only with supervision. Number 1. A protein powder is a dietary supplement. A protein powder is classified as a dietary supplement. Unlike medications, dietary supplements are not strictly regulated by the Food and Drug Administration or FDA. The FDA allows manufacturers to evaluate the safety and labeling of their products themselves, which means these products do not undergo rigorous testing or approval processes before reaching the market. 
As a result, there is no guaranteed way to know if a protein powder actually contains the ingredients and amounts that manufacturer claim on the label. This lack of oversight can lead to inconsistencies in product quality and potential health risks for consumers. Number 2. We don't know the long-term effects. There's limited data on potential side effects of high-protein intake from supplements. It could lead to digestive issues, especially for individuals with dairy allergies or lactose intolerance, who may experience gastrointestinal discomfort when using milk-based protein powders. Number 3. Toxins the Clean Label Project, a nonprofit, found numerous toxics in protein powders, including heavy metals, BPA, and pesticides. These contaminants, possibly from manufacturing processes or soil toxins absorbed by plants, raise concerns about health risks associated with consuming these products. Number 4. Other side effects may include Whey protein is generally safe for most adults when used correctly. However, high doses may lead to side effects such as increased bowel movements, acne, nausea, thirst, bloating, reduced appetite, tiredness, and headaches. And there you have it, folks. We've explored the ins and outs of protein powder side effects, empowering you to make informed decisions about your fitness journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow fitness enthusiasts. And remember, while protein powder can be a valuable tool, always listen to your body and consult with a healthcare professional if you have any concerns. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe for more fitness tips, workouts, and nutrition advice. Until next time, stay strong, stay healthy, and keep crushing these goals. See you in the next video. Goodbye.